First exercise is going to be something you're very uh, familiar with. We're going to do a dumbbell swinging push press. Okay, I like to get you guys moving. <clears throat> Focus on some uh, some compound movements, some athletic movements. The reason why I have you guys do this dumbbell swing so frequently is because it puts you in a very very good athletic position. I'll move to the side so you can see. So when I when I go into a swing, it looks like a jump. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to manage ground force downward so I can get a better vertical displacement upward or outward. Okay. So when I'm doing a dumbbell swing like this with a press, I'm not just swinging and pressing. What I'm doing is I'm actually throwing my hands down to change that direction very quickly. Change direction, press. Reset here. Change direction and then go into the press, okay? So again, the dumbbell swinging press is it's glute initiated. I'm using my glutes to find rhythm, okay? My feet, same width I would jump, jump from. Again, I'm trying to do it hard down, okay? So that's the first exercise. The second exercise is gonna be essentially a rear delt banded row. Here I have an anchor, I have up, up. So essentially, the height, okay, is, is, is fairly negligible in the sense of like, it's, we, we basically want it to be about at least head height. I put it a little bit higher, and you'll see why here in a minute. Essentially what I'm thinking is, is you're gonna see me do this motion. What I'm thinking about is this bone. Okay, my humerus is that that bone, those bones are moving out. Okay, I'm not coming down, I'm not going into a shrug. I'm lat down, and imagine just this bone sliding on a table, okay? As I'm pulling back, I'm not dropping, I'm not raising, okay? So I'll be here, lats down, and I'm gonna squeeze my rear delts right there. That's what I'm doing, thinking shortening this muscle group. Boom, shorten, okay? In this case, I'll have a band in my hand doing so. Okay, what I like is put my hands out here, and that's where I would pull from. So I'm gonna get the, get the band. Hands would be out like I'm flying, okay? There's no tension in this triangle as you see it. Okay, and I'm actually, as I'm pulling towards me, okay, I'm also keeping lat down, okay, and I'm also just, all I'm trying to do is push outward as I pull, okay, not shrugging, Op split squat position, kneeling dumbbell single arm, okay, the knee that is down, okay, that's the side we're pressing on, all right, the, the rule of thumb for this, is is to not be slouched okay I'm actually driving into the ground if I were to push any harder I'd actually come off the ground I'm actually pushing fairly hard into the ground to stabilize this position okay the arm that is not working it's not out here floating okay when you run we don't run like this this arms out floating this when I'm when I'm running or pressing this side's got to reciprocate right so if I'm here like this, I'm not out here pressing, okay? Flexed, I'm pressing, okay? This is where I'm going to be. One knee is down, again, I'm not slouched, I'm not loose, lats are down, extend and press, okay? Next one's gonna be an alternating front raise with bands, okay, same sort of situation. That's also why I went with this anchor slide this anchor down on a pole quite easily as long as the wood's not sticking into it. Okay. I have two bands you see at this point from the connection point right here. All right. I'm gonna lunge out, come to the bottom. Alright? But I'm all again big thing from this standpoint, either I'm gonna stay lunge and you know, that's kind of the distance I'm going to choose away from it. And then I'm going to stand up from there. So that's just kind of how I choose my distance. A little bit, take the slack out, small little lunge. That's my distance. Then I come up from here. Okay. I'm engaged to the hips. 
right? I don't want to be in a shrug position. So as I do a front raise, lats stay down. Okay, thumbs stay forward. I'm not rotating, right? Why am I not rotating? Because if I was a police officer and I wanted to detain you, I would rotate your hand and put it behind you. Okay, I don't want to get into a rotation when I'm lifting, right? Same with jujitsu, same with all those sort of things. As I'm creating tension, I don't want to go into a shrug. Stay engaged, lats are down, shorten that front delt, lengthen it, okay? Shorten it, lengthen it. When I'm talking about shorten and lengthening, it's literally this muscle group. It's long and it's stretched out right now because of the position of my bone, okay? As I change the angle of my bone, this muscle group right here begins to shorten. Now it's completely short as it's going to be. If I go any further, it's going to change the position of the musculature. Okay, right to here, lengthen, shorten. Okay, you're going to alternate, okay, one arm at a time. So it's alternating dumbbell, <coughs> your front raise with bands, okay, or dumbbell. You can do with dumbbells as well, but in this tension, in this case, I want you to tension back here. Okay, so. Next one is going to be the dumbbell lateral raise uh, with a lunge. Okay, you can do it a couple different ways. You can begin your walking lunge as you do it, or you can do it stationary. Okay, for the for the example here, we're going to do this one stationary. So, from this good state takeoff position, start here. Right, don't start loose. Start flex down. As I lunge, I go into the lateral raise. Okay. Big step, big lunge, to here and back, okay? Big step, put it back. Big step, put it back, okay? These are about 20 pounds. This is about the upper limit. To be honest with you, um, I would probably go a little bit lighter um, as I fatigue, but just to give you an idea, the idea is not to be heavy, okay? One thing also, we're not, we're not, we're not stepping then lifting we're also not lifting then stepping they are simultaneous okay so as soon as i get to the bottom and touch my knee i'm going to come right back to the top touch back to the top touch back to the top okay because again we're not we don't need to lift past the shoulders if i'm if i'm lat stable that's all i need out of that muscle group okay you can have a slight bend in the elbow, that's fine. But as I'm lifting, I shouldn't be changing that angle, okay? So that's the second to last one. The last exercise is gonna be a banded upright row. Using the same bands that we've been using. Okay. Now what I do with this is, basically first I take this. Most, most of these bands are about similar length, about four feet in length in total, okay? So I'm gonna take this, what I always tell people is, stand in this band to where there's a like, nice little box I'm making, and then stand up from that box. See, now I'm under a nice little good tension position, and there I can grab inside the band, and I'm still under tension, okay? Glutes are tight, hands do not get above elbows, so elbows always stay above hands. Glutes stay tight, elbows, Stay above hands. If you see from the side, I'm not carrying the hands out, okay? As I always say, it's like pumping a tire, the old school tire pump. I'm staying nice and close to the body, okay? Nice and close to the body. If I, want, if I need more resistance, I create more stretch, okay? I create more stretch of this band. Now I have more tension, okay? So if I'm in the middle of the exercise, middle of the set, I need more tension, I create it. If I need less tension, right, and so on. All right, so that's again, one of the beauties about bands is because even in mid-set, we can make changes. All right, as far as the workout, the rest of the workout goes, right, those are, there are six exercises going there, right? You're gonna, they're listed in the photo. The photo will be posted with this, right? For, for all the band exercises, Okay, the reps and sets essentially be 30 seconds max, max reps with the 30 seconds. Okay, 
the, the exercises with the with the dumbbells or center mass bells or the masses that you're using those are 12 to 15 reps so with the bands 30 seconds with the weights 12 to 15 reps okay you're gonna do four to six sets in total or rotations in total right and in between after each rotation of six exercises take about 90 seconds off okay uh, 